Hello, now this is how you make a minigun out of cardboard. First of all, you'll need the materials. The materials you'll need are five paper towel rolls, random cardboard of your choice, and you'll want to make a you'll want to have four toilet paper rolls, and you'll want to make a cube out of cardboard. It can be any size, just as long as it fits in here. You'll want to make it bigger if you may use a paper towel roll instead of toilet paper roll here. Anyway. First, you want to cut these down the middle. You'll then want to take the four paper towels you cut and take them so that they're smaller, this size, which is like a probably your like 0 0.75 inches about um, long, like from one in, in diameter. There, worse. Um, anyway. Then you'll need to do that for all four. You'll need to tape them in place so they don't come apart. What you'll then want to do is get tape, if you know. You just roll it up in a little thing. And I don't know if you can see it. Probably can't. But I did it a lot on here. You'll want to roll it up in that little ball so it's sticking on all sides. you want to stick it to one. And then you'll want to stick it on both sides of that one. You'll want to then stick a toilet paper towel roll on top of those two pieces of tape, and that, and you want to do that for two times with both the with two paper towel rolls each. So you'll have two, one of these, one of these big things of two paper towel rolls, and another one. You'll then want to do the same thing, but by placing them together. You'll then want to wrap tape around them, and do that on both ends. Ends. Then, what you want to do to make sure it's extra strong is take your, your cardboard and you want to wrap it around and tape it. You want to do it in the middle, the end, and a large portion at the other end. Then, you want to cut a hole here, a square, a cube hole, or not a cube hole, but a square shaped hole, and you want to make this handle. This handle is made by using a Toilet paper roll, by cutting it down the middle, same technique used to make the paper towel roll, you want to tape it in place, and then you want to make a, a one slightly smaller so it can fit inside that. You'll then want to cut a square shape hole with um, a piece hanging off. You'll then want to tape all around it and make sure it's secure in place. That'll be one of your two carrying handles. Anyway, for this, I'm going to tell you what to do with paper towel roll. You then, with the paper towel roll, you cut a, a rectangular hole until it meets the back end of one of these um, paper towel rolls. Um, the rectangular hole is for the handle because that goes inside to make sure it's extra sturdy. What you'll then want to do is add the stock. Or, a smarter way, actually, is to just add this first. First, you'll want to make the cube pretty easy, self-explanatory. You can do that easily. You'll then want to cut a rectangular hole, pretty wide, as wide as your cube, slightly, slightly smaller than your cube would be a smart thing, so it fits pretty good in there. And then you want to stick your cube inside. Now, you can try to implement a loading feature. I have not figured one out yet. I do want to make a follow-up video on a loading feature for this, but it does not have one yet. Anyway. You then, if you don't want to have a loading feature and just have like one of those big magazines where you don't have to really reload, have to fire, you can just tape it in place. Anyway, you can not do that and wait for my video on that, which should be going out soon. Hopefully by the end, by the start of next week. Anyway, this then has a stock, which is, I've showed you how to make that, pretty sure. Maybe I haven't actually, but all you have to do cut a a square like shape in one in the part of the paper towel roll it would be that's sticking out. You want to shove a toilet paper roll up there, tape it on all four things, both sides, back, right over here. That'll secure it in place. You then want to do the same thing but from the bottom and going this way. That'll make this a stop. Now, once you're done, it should look like this, if you did it correctly. 
Now this is really nice, I think, to be honest. And I think it's pretty good. You can watch the follow-up video to this whenever it comes out. And it should be coming out by the end of Monday next week. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll probably see you later. Goodbye.